Hey guys, so I'm gonna start a little section on my YouTube called Spiritual Cupcakes because my husband and I are in ministry and there's many times where I'm reading the word and I'm like, I come across some scripture and I'm like, that is so good. I wanna share that with people. Like I get a good revelation. And so I just thought, why not? So I'm just gonna throw it out there and put it as like little spiritual cupcakes because it's just like a little sweet bite that hopefully blesses you and makes you feel good and all the things. So this one stemmed from a friend was dealing from with anxiety a few months back. And in the word, there's many times anxiety is mentioned, but Philippians 4, 6 was on my heart for this situation in this case. And in that, in that scripture, I have an NIV if you want to read along. Philippians 4, 6 is, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put into practice. And the God of peace will be with you. And I had a revelation when I was reading. I was like, Lord, this is a anxiety game plan. You're, tell you're not just telling us don't have anxiety and then you go on to another subject. It says, don't be anxious about everything. Uh, don't be anxious about anything, but that means like, don't do this, but do this in every situation by prayer and petition and with thanksgiving. So that's the first step. The order of this is also very important. So you pray, you get on your knees or you stop what you're doing and you pray about whatever is giving you anxiety. If even, even if you don't even know what's giving you anxiety, pray. Also, the next one is petition. You know, if you've ever started a petition or if you've wanted to start a petition or maybe you've signed a petition that the feeling of like, we're not gonna put up with this, whatever it is, we're gonna make a change, we're gonna change how things are going or working or whatever. There's a lot of just emotion and drive to make a change whenever you're petitioning. That's what the Lord wants you to do. Like come to him, pray petition for what is bothering you, what you're worrying about. And also give thanksgiving is the next thing. There's always something to praise him or thank him for, for what he's done, what he's doing and what he will do all the time. So those three things are key. And working in the healthcare system and working with digestive health and working with food and everything, I know that sometimes anxiety and depression can come from an internal internal problem. And so this, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter if it's an external source or the anxiety is coming from an internal reason. You come to God with prayer and petition and thanksgiving and he will guard your hearts and your mind in Christ Jesus. It doesn't even matter where it comes from. You do these things and he will protect your heart and your mind. But that's not it. No, there is no room for anxiety, especially if you keep going. So I was reading, okay, it also says whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable. Think about such things. I was like, okay. So I wrote down like true and I wrote down true and I wrote like a blank and then I wrote down noble and a blank and admirable and a blank and lovely and a blank. And I was like, oh, okay. Let me actually think about what is true. Okay, dictionary.com, define noble. What exactly do you mean by noble? It was so freeing and so peace giving, just trying to think of things to put on my list as praiseworthy and noble and lovely and true and, and good. There is absolutely no reason why we should put up with anxiety. When we have anxiety or we're worried about something, we spend time doing something. Like you can look at these and be like, I don't have time to do that. I guarantee you have time to worry about stuff. You have time to think, you have time to Google stuff. You have time to go down rabbit trails to think, oh, well, what else could happen? And this snowballs and then this happens out, you know, 
don't do that. Do this. This is your game plan. This is your antidote. This is your anti-depression, anti-anxiety medication. Do this and there will be absolutely no way that that anxiety can stay because God will intervene. He will protect your heart and your mind, but you have to put in your your assignment. You have to take this and do this part. So friends, anytime that you feel that you are anxious or you have worry starting to just build up, just stop, pray, give him thanks, petition him, write on a piece of paper or maybe in your phone, true, and make a blank and list all the things that are true. List all the things that are pure. List all the things that are lovely. And I promise you that anxiety can not stay. And if you don't believe me, if you keep going, it says to put all these things that Paul was talking about here into practice. These scriptures aren't just for like lip service. It's not just to read. Of course, just reading it feels good, but we have to put it into practice. We have to apply it. We have to do what it says and it will absolutely rock your world. It will change your life and it will free you from all those burdens and all those worries so you can actually start living the life Christ calls you to. I hope this blessed you today. Have a wonderful day and I'll catch you guys next time.